they be. Let me just tell you, you glow different when <laughs> you got a flight for $20. <laughs> so this was a highly requested video. I know a lot of you have asked me on my Instagram how I travel, where I travel to, how I afford cheap flights, how I travel so much. So I decided to create this video to share with you how I find my flights, where I go, and when are the best times to travel. So first, we're going to start with my top five favorite travel apps. Skyscanner, Skiplagged, Hopper, Google Flights, and Secret Flying. And all of these have an app, but I will link all of them down below. When are the best times to travel is often a question that I get from a lot of people. The best days to travel are usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Usually flight fares are usually a lot cheaper on those days. The days that flights are usually the most expensive are usually the weekend days. When traveling, something important to know is that when you budget travel are your hidden fee. Anything like a check-in bag, a carry-on bag, and those are things to just keep in mind that budget traveling is cheap. However, there are always fees for something else. We're gonna talk about the type of flights you can take. When you use these different travel apps, you're gonna have different types of flights that you may see. And based off of the type of flight that it is, is going to determine the price of it. You have your hidden city flights, your multi-city flights, your non-stop flights, and then your layover flights. So I know that's a lot like dang i'm trying to get flued out for the love i'm gonna break it down for y'all so you kind of know what you're dealing with and you know how to go about booking your flight we'll start with your traditional non-stop non-stop is pretty self-explanatory it's from point a to point b nothing in between personally i'm not your layover type of girl i just rather get where i'm going i don't want all the extra literally i want to get on the plane and i want to land where i'm supposed to go however sometimes layover flights can be cheaper than non-stop flights let's say that i'm starting in atlanta my layover may be in fort lauderdale and then my end destination may be orlando so it really just depends because obviously when you're going a longer distance you're going to have a longer layover however sometimes your layovers can be short and you're running to the gate like oh my god i'm not gonna get my flight oh my god but when you book your flight just make sure to pay attention because it'll say one layover and then it'll have the time interval of how long the layover is so multi-city flight means that you book a flight to go to multiple cities so you book one flight but it goes to multiple cities and I've never done the multi-city flight, so don't quote me on this. But I think that a multi-city flight basically is self-explanatory as well. You book it from one destination, but your end destination is more than one destination. Was that confusing? Basically, I think it's like almost like getting the price of multiple flights for one price. Okay, you guys, just Google multi-city flights. A hidden city flight is when you book a flight and there is a hidden city in between the departing destination and the end destination. Be very careful because although it is legal, it is highly frowned upon in the aviation industry. If you book a hidden city flight, make sure that you get off at that hidden city because if you don't get off at that hidden city and your bags go to the final destination, can't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault. Sorry. A hidden city flight is when you book one flight from one place, there is a hidden city in the middle, and then there's an end destination. But you get off at the hidden city. I had one time booked a flight from Guatemala City and the end destination was LaGuardia. So it was New York City, New York. However, the hidden city was Atlanta. 
So I got the price of the ticket from Guatemala City to New York, but really I only needed to get to Atlanta. So I got off at that hidden city. If it still doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. Those are your four types of flights to look out for. Those are the only type of flights that I've really ever dealt with. Another thing that I just wanted to touch on is the difference between luxury traveling and budget traveling. A lot of the traveling I do is budget traveling, which is how I can afford to travel so much and to travel to the places that I travel. However, let me make it very clear. Budget traveling is a different type of traveling than luxury traveling. There's no real like glamour to budget traveling. My glamour is more so once I get to my destination. It's not the traveling experience. However, I have luxury traveled, but if you are trying to travel for the love, then you have to be willing to understand that you may not get first class, baby. You may pay for a bottle of water, baby. That's just the thing with budget traveling and luxury traveling. Budget traveling, there's literally nothing included in the cost but the ticket, and then you usually pay for everything else. Luxury traveling, you pay for the ticket, but everything is included in that price, so you pay a lot more. So it really just depends on what type of person you are. If you're just somebody who wants to travel and you don't necessarily know how you can afford to go to these places, but you know you want to go, then I definitely recommend budget traveling. I will say that there are pros and cons to both. My suggestion is do your research. My suggestion is if you can afford, test out both. Well, I know I gave y'all a lot of information in a short period of time. So in conclusion to everything that we've talked about, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my recommendations of airlines. If you're looking for a luxury carrier, which are gonna be your big three, your legacy carriers, which are your Delta, United, and American, I would have to say that Delta is definitely my favorite. I don't think I've ever flew on United. Out of Delta and America, Delta is definitely my favorite. They are a bit pricey if you broke. If you are into the budget side of traveling, I have flown Southwest, I have flown Frontier, I have flown Spirit. I can recommend all of them with Frontier, I'm not gonna lie not my favorite I flew spirit for the first time last month and look don't believe the uproar you guys spirit was great the people were super nice the people were super excited to work I was like wow these people are like on 10 and it is early my flight was really short it was like an hour for what I was trying to do where I was trying to go I think I paid like $60 in total for my ticket and then I got to where I needed to go on time So, you know, just really do your research you guys. I know that on social media Everybody is like oh fly this or oh don't fly this However, I think that you personally should do your own research because your experience as a traveler Is definitely gonna be a lot different than somebody else's experience And if the flight is like $20 you guys you cannot be like super OD picky because the flight is $20. So like, what do you expect? I hope that you guys love this video because y'all have been bugging the absolute crap out of me for it. If you did, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe, you like, you comment, and that you follow me on Instagram at that me a girl. And if you have any other questions or comments that you'd like to leave below, do that because I do check the comment section as well as DMs on Instagram. That's a great way to get in contact with me. I also want to apologize for the fact that it looks like I recorded this video naked because I'm not. And that would be weird because we're on YouTube. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.